Speaking of the woke police, I've got to raise this issue with you in footy. This is an incredible case. It's breaking news this afternoon. It's like the Israel Folau case, except it's in Aussie rules and except it involves a woman instead of a man and it involves a person of Muslim faith instead of Christianity. The, the AFL Giants uh, women's player, Hanin Zrika, uh, is refusing to wear the Pride Guernsey for the game tomorrow night in Melbourne. And so the AFL Giants have said she's not playing. She says because she's a Muslim, it's against her faith to, to, to wear the, the uh, Pride Guernsey, so she misses out. Have the Giants made the right call here? Well, this, this reminds me in a way of the plebiscite over marriage equality where the, uh, the sort of uh, rich tapestry of multiculturalism came crashing head on into uh, what are regarded as sacrosanct progressive values. And I think that in the same way that so many um, areas, particularly around Western Sydney, areas like Lakemba and, uh, and Auburn, delivered really strong votes against same-sex marriage and, weirdly enough, found themselves on a unity ticket with the Hillsong Brigade, who they normally don't get on with like a, like a house on fire. I think the really strange and nuanced aspect of this tale is that there'd be a lot of people, progressive people, who are, are huge champions of multiculturalism and, and will be troubled when they see that someone can adhere to a, a, a set of religious beliefs that are so, um, I guess, exclusionary um, that they would be personally reluctant to wear a, um, a, a, a jumper that's advocating the, the rights of women to be in relationships, men to be in relationships, all the other various LGBTIQ plus permutations that are uh, all the all the rage, and um, yeah, I just think we've got know, to be more I tolerant, don't... mate. I think we've got to be more tolerant. We can't judge people's views. Just as I thought Israel Folau was hard done by, I think Hanin should be allowed to play. We respect her religious views as long as she's not forcing them on anybody else. I mean, I think of just after the Ashes win, the way the Aussies sort of put away the alcohol so they could make sure that Usman Khawaja could be part of the team, then why not go that extra step to make, make sure that Hanin can be part of the team? You know, I, I, think, I think that that's a fair point. Um, you know, from what I read in the Ages report, which from, from my reading of it um, even went so far as to not name her, her religion, uh, sort of tiptoeing around that, that there's some sort of internal process going on. But I think the Folau comparison is is a valid one because, you know, he was sort of drummed out of the game. I guess he, he, he went a hell of a lot further in terms of some of the things that he said. I don't know if um, if, if, if uh, this female player is uh, saying that, you know, people are going to burn in eternal hell or anything like that for their choices. Um, but, you know, if it's just a question of discomfort. Um, she doesn't sound like a hateful person. She just sounds like someone who, you know, for her own uh, private reasons, isn't comfortable with it. Yeah, but it, it, it might is, not make, I it guess, might not exclusionary. Make things, it is, but it might not make things too easy for her in a community too. So um, people don't exist yeah. in a vacuum. So I think we've just got to be a little bit more broadly tolerant in these things.